so first off for David, um, so Shoto kind of plays a bigger role in this movie than he has in the last two. Was there anything about this experience in particular compared to the last two movies that was different in, in your performance? Um, yeah, I, I, I said this before, but I, I really do. The thing that that, that uh, sticks out for me the most is uh, um, uh, there's a, an underlying confidence there uh, in, in working with, with the others. Um, uh, kind of a, a, there seems to be less doubt, uh, more belief in himself uh, and, his, and his power uh, in, in his strategic ability as well, but also an openness to work with, with everyone else. Um, I was struck by a couple of the scenes where, you know, they're strategizing, trying to figure out what to do next. Um, and, you know, everybody has something to say and they, they all kind of really listen to each other. Uh, even if it's done, you know, it's still done in their, within their, the realm of their personalities and the way they operate in the world. Mm -hmm. But um, I thought that that was pretty, pretty, um, there was a freedom there uh, that you don't always see, uh, or that we haven't seen yet. So yeah, it was exciting. Uh, and going to Patrick now, you know, one of the big arcs of season five, of course, was the Todoroki family, um, kind of the emotion of wrapped up in there with that in mind, going into this movie, was there anything about that in particular that kind of affected your performance? I mean, even when it's not germane to what's specifically going on in the scene, I feel like when you've already hit those moments and done that work, it's always going to sort of be in the background informing what they're doing. I feel like uh, even though, you know, the, the scope of this movie's plot being global enough that they're, they're not, you know, in the same place a bunch, I feel like I'm sure it's like life you're going through you're doing the stuff that you're doing and even if you're not around the people that are important to you th those experiences you've had are in the back of your mind and they're percolating and you're working on it. it's it's you know it's in the background being worked on being shaped being you know refined being tumbled sometimes being degraded you take a step back so mm -hmm. it's it's it, i'm sure it feels very artsy fartsy to word it like this but i feel <laughs> like even though there's not a lot of face to face with them or them being in the same place. I think all that stuff that they've been doing and especially a lot of those notes they've been hitting in season five are something that they've just got in their back pocket as they are going off doing the things that they're doing. You know, it's just working in the background memory, so to speak. And, you know, over the years, Endeavor has kind of been one of the more contentious characters of the series in terms of, you know, his morality and how people are supposed to feel about him. Is there anything in this movie that you think pushes his personality forward or does anything to develop on how fans are supposed to feel about him. I think the moments you see with him are they're they're cool moments, they're fun moments, they are they are, you know, spectacle in the best sense of the word. Uh, but then if you have watched the show and and sort of taken that journey with him, I think they also hit different. You I I think mm. um he's definitely a character where looking at what motivates the things he does is very important it's it's not just results based and i think a lot of times in the past maybe he has been results based but now you look at the things he's doing and you're like he really is trying to be that symbol he really is trying to be bigger than himself he's not worried about you know the rankings or the tally it really is about what is going to be best for people and not what is going to be best for endeavor's ego and that's mm -hmm. a that's a, a fun and a gratifying uh, you know, voice to bring to the, the sort of endeavor chorus, as it were. Uh, and going back to David, you know, Shoto recently, he's, you know, he's a lot cooler maybe than he used to be um, in the past. He's kind of developed into a, a, a cooler kind of character, but he still has that kind of dense deadpan sense of humor. Um, how have you gone about maturing the character while still trying to keep that kind of dense humor uh, intact? Um, that's a great question. Uh, you know, I, I think we see him mature mostly from the fact that he's willing to be more open with his communication. I mean, if you look at season one and two, he was really close to the vest. Uh, he didn't really give much of his opinion. He was almost in, in certain times, uh, you know, cocky about his ability. Um, the, the, the best way, so the way that that works 
uh, as far as the deadpan and the, the, the humor is I don't ever think of it as humor. I, I can't play to it that way. I think of it as a, really a true earnestness and an innocence. You know, when you suffer, uh, when you go through trauma of any kind, large, small, whatever, you, you tend to go inside yourself and, and you, you have a different relationship with yourself than maybe if you hadn't uh, gone through something like that. So he really does have a, an, a true earnestness to him. He really, um, he, he doesn't always get the nuance or uh, the social cues in that way. And he, so I have to play that completely uh, innocent and, um, and earnest, uh, you know, and, that, and, it, and that's how I find it. I have to remember to stay in that, that it's, he's not commenting on it. He's not winking at it. He's not lifting it up for anybody. It's just a true, honest earnestness. And it ends up being pretty funny. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, In in this new movie, are there any moments that kind of stand out to you for Shoto as like any of his big moments? Um, You know, without giving away any real spoilers, um, some of the the fight stuff I really I really enjoyed doing. I think that you see him really kind of grab hold of of his power. Um, but I also was was really shocked by how he truly takes a support role. He, he truly was a team player um, in bolstering you know, um, Midoriya and, and Bakugo, but he also takes a leadership role too. So it's multifaceted. And so some of the, some of the fights and some of the strategy scenes I was, I thought were pretty exciting. 